So first centre to the Silver Ferns. Great opportunity to stretch this lead further. They've been behind for most of the match. They led by three very early on in the first quarter. But the uh, the breaks went straight his way until that third quarter. Good ball. Beautiful ball from Langman. It's a ball that lifts the side. The other thing you remind your team is there's 15 minutes to play this out. You don't look to the end of it. You do it play by play, session by session. Nurse, skipper offers. She'll go to goal. Metis working so hard to keep arms off the shot. It comes back at them and it's in Silverfern hands. From out of court, though, is the call. It's an Australian throw-in. Just the, uh, the foot from... Grant went out, which is good news for Australia as they're dominating the rebounds, dominating the interceptions in that uh, third quarter as well. That's intimidation in the face. The clear call comes from Gary Burgess. McMahon balking, flirts with three seconds and loses the opportunity for Australia. He did more than flirt. It's a real shame and uh, a golden opportunity now for the Silver Ferns. Barrett Chase away to Langman. Barrett Chase's impact in this game can't be underestimated. Her aerial skill, her ability to hang, her speed is exciting the crowd and it's motivating them to uh, support the Ferns. And they're beginning to find their radar shoot in terms of their shooting percentage as well, particularly the great Van Dyke. Oh, did well, Hallinan, but uh, Furman couldn't quite pick up the scraps as Van Dyke had forward position against her. That's a poor pass, though. I'll go back for it. Great work, though, by Monia Girard to take one of the players out as an option. Up it goes. No, no uh, yellow uniforms near it. No, she's got eyes in the back of her head, Van Dyke, hasn't she? And then to Tyre with a brilliant bomb. The pass back in from Van Dyke. She was looking straight where she delivered it. That was skill. Scarlet now with the intercept. Australia's in disarray. It's becoming a responsibility for the defenders to create turnover ball, but they can't do it without the support downfield. The Silver Ferns are on their feet. They sense a victory here. Norma Plummer looks worried. And they're now out by six. The biggest lead from either team at any stage in this gold medal match. The Silver Ferns fighting for gold. And Tutayer can make it seven. And will. Fired up the bench. They're sensing a big upset here. Tough call for Norma Palmer now as Sherelle asked to establish combination quickly and go to the post for Australia. Green, just a mighty competitor, will relish the opportunity. Medhurst was shooting at 97% coming into this match. She's left the court shooting at 78 in this particular match. So Green back in now to McMahon. Cox will make a difference in terms of rebounds as well. Well, ironically, in recent times, it's been not an issue, but a thought that Sharon McMahon can get caught up in the physical nature of the game and not to be used to the better advantage too far down the court. Ironically, now we need that fire in the belly from the Diamonds captain. Here's Von one. Yeah, Vomberto came up with the intercept. And the count of one from the former skipper is telling you that they need three of these at least. Don't write them off. Catherine Cox, cool as, will offer some strike power. McMahon will fire up at the front and Kimberly Green knows no fear. As Cox was uh, cutting across the goal line, couldn't get it to it. She's there now though. And her chance to put a first one Dita. away. Brilliant. Australian President Nolene Dixon, the CEO, Kate Palmer on screen, smile on her face. If Nolene's relaxed, I guess I can pretend too. Oh, she did well, Scarlett. A bit of contact, though, but it was a, a good effort to Vomberto with the penalty pass. And Beautiful inside ball. hold from Catherine Cox. <laughs> Barrett Chase. Langman to Tyre. And all of a sudden it's shifted. Now it's Australia coming at the Silver Ferns and the Silver Ferns double thinking. Well, down by seven. Beautiful roll from Irene van Dyke then. Reverse roll off the back of Furman who lost sight for a second. 
see there, faked the roll, rolled the other way. Smart play, it's a change up from the great Arjen van Dijk. So the pressure on the world number one still, down by five. Long time left though, can they lift? Cathcox hurtles out of the circle like a missile, will now take the penalty. She's come from the bench with a hot hand. Brilliant work from Catherine Cox under pressure as Barrett Chase again ignites the crowd. Green answers it and Australia in support. Brilliant play from the world number one. And remember the next centre will be theirs. Cox, can she put another one away? Indeed she can. Now it's getting interesting again. Norma Plummer. So Henry on Kimberly Green. Her mum, Denise Langford in the... Uh, Proud, of course, a four-time gold medalist from Edinburgh in 72 in the pool. No easy pathway into the circle. People screaming for a replay. Sharon McMahon not deemed to have possession. <laughs> a little wry smile from the skipper. They're back within two. Would love another big play here. Force a mistake. Get an intercept. New South Wales viewers no doubt going crazy at two swift players entering the game. A natural combination, of course, Green and Cox. Gerard to return next year. Tutayer has been steady and solid all match. The shot beautifully. Great work, Kim Green, to pop the incisive move across the line right at the last. Oh, Cox, does well, Cox. Cox possession reads it beautifully. Well, wouldn't you love the veteran, the oldest in the Australian team, to come on court to make impact and to follow it through towards goal. Catherine Cox, your chance for all-time greatness. She's yet to miss, it's coming on. Barrett Chase away to the legend Van Dyke. Floats one to Barrett Chase. A little bit of contact there from Von Berto. The Australian bench in back, mat, back play, wishing that to be simply a loss of balance against uh, Barrett Chase. If they had nails, there wouldn't be any left. There's plenty of chewing taking place down there, you think. And Tutayer has been a thorn in Australia's side. Her ability to complete the passage, taking the shots now from anywhere in the circle with composure, is important for the Silver Ferns. So they're back out by three. Straight in now, Green off as well. the ball. Oh, yeah. it's deemed to go off the back line. Oh. It was almost... A wonderful pass, wasn't it? Cox just couldn't quite get the fingertips to it. Good touch from McMahon. And almost from Hamilton, but it's gone out off the Kiwis. Great hold, Renee Hallen, and here comes Gerard. Gerard and Hallen have it all ahead of them. Seven minutes remaining. They need to be rock solid in attack. They need to create something out of nothing. Thurman too must keep Van Dyke out of this game and Tutayer needs to be silenced. Well, it's getting tense now, isn't it? An obstruction call against Gerard. Keep the feet coming, Susan Furman, and attack the rebound. But Van Dyke's too good. Again, out by three. There's plenty of time left. Six and a half minutes, more than enough for the Australians to uh, get themselves back in front. That's advanced. That was a warning against deliberate contact on Jolene Henry. Beautiful feeding position, top of circle for Kimberly Green. And another long bomb from Kat Cox. As cool as you like. They need to silence them at this end, though. Barrett chasing to put it back to the centre third. A bit of contact from being told by uh, Burgess to stop where it occurred from Bomberto. Well, pressure not on the back of the line. McMahon had walked away from uh, Jolene Henry. There she applies the pressure. Almost a three-second ball. Nat Bomberto just running out of leg to stop that one. Helen and sweeps it away. So the pressure is good on the outside. They just need to give opportunity to Furman and Gerard inside the circle. It was unlucky for the Australians then. Bit of a chess match going on. Furman and Van Dijk for holding position. Furman now trying to free herself. It's a long ball. Good hold from Susan Furman. Goes through his advantage goal. 
This time the elbow call is on Williams. That's advanced. Oh, she was available. Cox for a moment there right under the post. Couldn't get it to up. Cox trying to hold position but swing her feet so she can put a planted foot closer to post. So trying to hold wide and then shoot one back. She's happy to go to the post. She's in brilliant form. And the hot hand gets hotter. Hasn't missed. We've said before she's got the touch of the Mark Wars about it. Just so cool, so calm. Australia really working hard to force the error from the Silver Ferns. Langman now. Great work, Gerard. She holds two tie out of play. It's contact call on the arm, and we'll see Helen and stand out. One on one in the circle. Two tie out. She shot brilliantly. Would it crack yet? No, it won't. Three goal margin, four minutes to play. The Diamonds trying to lift themselves. The Silver Ferns are the defending champions. Cox out of the circle, but almost holding on the lead. Dangerous play for Australia. The re-offer comes from Green, but it's through the hands. They need to lift now, the Australians. Oh, Barrett Chase looks so close to being out of court. She's been impressive, Liana Barrett Chase. And Tutaia just won't crack on the shot. Has shot brilliantly to Tyer. And the Kiwis are starting to think that perhaps this could be theirs as they go out by four. And importantly, it's their centre. To Tyer slap the fist together. She knew that was a crucial shot with the centre to follow. And the Diamonds running out of time. There is time to do it, but it's pressure on every decision now. They can't afford to any error in attack and they need two turnovers Cox now offers right under the post and she's been fouled they also can't afford to waste time by delayed tactics that the Silver Ferns no doubt will try to implement that's one back centre to follow it's doable these goals can do it they just need a little bit of luck along the way Green stands like a brick wall. She won't want Williams to take a time getting up either. Yeah, she was uh, calling to the umpire to call time if Williams was going to take a time, but she didn't to Williams' credit. Casey Williams got straight back up. Okay, so, the chat will come up now for intercept. Now, now they're back within two. Really need this. They need to force an error. They can do this. Goes against Helen on a holding call. That makes it harder because it puts it in close range. It puts the pressure on the circle defenders. Furman and Gerard bouncing around to keep themselves alive. They know they need... That's one! This is one! Get out of your seats at home. Bring them home. So Furman now finds Hamilton. Gerard's on offer. Hamilton's been... Professional that foul by Barrett Chase. Another call for Australia. Well, the umpires can't get suckered into the professional fouls. They need to protect both sides equally. Cox, will she go to She'll goal yet again? She'll back herself, no doubt about it. And, and she rebounds. It's okay as long as it's completion. And it's we could go into extra time here. And it's Australia's centre. It's 47-46. We'll explain extra time to you in a minute. We'll worry about that then. But at the moment, the Australians a chance to get themselves back on level terms. They're trailed by as many as seven in this quarter. Great composure. They're not forcing it in. They're back playing in support play. There's Cox. Good ball. Placed outside the reach. Cat Take Cox. a breath, Coxie. Can she level the score? Yes, she can. Last minute. So the Silver Ferns have possession, though. It's their centre. It's a defender's game. I've never loved them as much as I do at this moment. But Gerard, have a look at the ball firm and see the writing on it. Put it in hand. Hold up. Hold up. Follow it. That's the one. Here we go, Diamonds. This could be an all-time great finish from the world number one. 30 seconds left. McMahon finds Von Berto. Cox trying to offer. Back to McMahon again. Cox gets it now. Can the veteran put it away? No, she can't. Williams will come back with it. There is 15 seconds left for play. It is 47 apiece.